This is the uh, kind of unprecedented times in terms of inventory. We're probably about a third of what we would normally have on a lot. In the market right now for a brand new car, well, you might have to be patient for quite some time. That's because while the country is opening back up during the pandemic, car dealerships are still feeling the effects with record low inventory. Channel 3's New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland's live right now. He's with the mobile newsroom in Ansonia with a look at what car shoppers can expect. Hi there, Matt. Well, hi there, Mark. Well, here at Fitzpatrick's right behind me, before the pandemic, the dealership here, there would be cars lined up, ready to go. The same would be for the overflow lot right next door. Cars just sort of packed and lined up. That is just simply not the case at car dealerships across the country right now. So if you're looking to buy, well, you're going to need to be flexible. Jeep Wranglers remain a popular car here at Fitzpatrick's Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram dealership in downtown Ansonia. But owner Paul Fitzpatrick says right now, Buyers just don't have a whole lot to pick from. If we would normally have 180 cars on the lot, we have 60. So it's, uh, I've been doing this a long time, over 40 years, and I've never seen it this low. And it's not for lack of wanting the inventory. We have the orders in the system. And no matter where you're shopping, that's likely to be the case at car dealerships all across the country. With people staying home during the pandemic, car manufacturers slowed down. And so did orders for the microchips used for the powertrain, infotainment, and onboard safety systems. Chip makers decided, let's stop making chips for cars because people aren't going to be buying them. Let's make the chips for personal computers because people will use that for communicating and working at home. In fact, according to Edmunds, which rates and reviews cars along with providing appraisals, across the country, new car inventory is down 48% from last year. David Cadden, Professor Emeritus with Quinnipiac University's Department of Entrepreneurship and Strategy, says that's also resulting in a rush on used cars, too. So he says depending on where you shop, you might not get the exact deal you were looking for. It's like the housing market. And again, it's a question of the pent-up demand. It makes it a seller's market. So if you're looking to buy, be flexible. Have backup options when it comes to colors, styles, and models. Here at Fitzpatrick's, Paul says they've actually switched gears with their business model focusing more on factory specific orders. The customer gets the color they want, the equipment they want. They just have to be able to wait for six weeks to get the vehicle. Now, so just how long will this last? Paul tells us on conference calls, he's been told they could start seeing a bit of an uptick in the inventory in August and September, but he says they also tell them it just won't be the supply that the dealers are used to. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom Mini and Sonia. Matt McFarlane, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.